Hey, I'm Jay from the Cubs Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Free Random Games, a series where I find some of the most random games out there on the internet, and I play them for you right here in this video. I can't promise that they're going to be any good, but I can promise that we're going to have some fun, so if you guys cool with that, down with that. Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go! First game today is called At Tony's. You are making pizzas late at night, so we are gonna check it out and we are gonna make us some pizza. Is that offensive? I'm guessing pizza jobs pay really well because I feel like I have a very fancy apartment in New York or something, but let me check my computer. Joe, I still hope you will reconsider working at the pizzeria. I've always been apprehensive about that place and I'd rather you not be there during the late hours. It's an old building. Shut up, Mike, you bitch. I should check through the peephole first. Oh! What the heck? Okay, there's some random freaking gobble ghoul just on the other side. I'm gonna open the door and I'm gonna punch you in your big ass bowling ball head. Hold on, open that door. Let me through. What the heck? You think I'm scared of that? I swear like I'm scared of that. I think somebody's gonna run out the elevator. It's gonna be somebody even bigger and balder and stankier. All right, good. Okay, let's go. I don't know why I'm always half expecting somebody to just like put their arm through the elevator and just try to jump scare me. But I'm about that life, everybody. I will punch somebody in the throat. I'm feeling bold today for some reason, everybody. I don't know what it is. Maybe I had a little too much caffeine today. Oh, okay. I thought the power went out. I was gonna say one of my fears is actually being trapped in an elevator. But let's answer the phone. Hello, hey, Tony's how Pizzeria, how many take your call? Pick up the dough tray in the kitchen. Okay, I'm always about my dough. Computer. Okay, these are the orders. Nobody's ordered anything. I guess this pizzeria sucks ass. And the menu is Linda, pepperoni, capricciosa, cocoa, mamas, and stagioni. These are the instructions on how to use the oven. I got this, okay? These are demonstrations on how to make pizza. All right, you know what? I'm good, I'm good. Stop playing with me. Let's get this dough ready. That's onion, mushrooms, mozzarella, ham, pepperoni, tomato sauce, and where's that dough? Oh, okay, why is it dark as shit over here? Oh boy, I don't like how dark it is over there. That's kind of creepy. Bro, what the heck? This place can't afford electricity? All right, there you go. Throw three logs of wood in the oven. That's what I say when I take a shit. There's one, there's two. There's three. Okay, all jokes aside, everybody, I do need to read this oven guide. It says, keep away from children and people with less than 100 IQ. Got it. Do not add any petrol-based liquid directly in the oven. Do not attempt to climb inside the oven while it's above 400 degrees. Okay, that was one of the first things I was going to do. Do not fall asleep while using the oven. Okay, sleepy ass. Add logs inside the oven. Check temperature using our temp gun. An ideal cooking temperature between 400 and 460. Pizza will cook in 60 seconds at this temperature cooking pizzas above 460 is not recommended once the temperature is correct add your pizza in the oven use a timer to keep track of the cooking state okay so let me check my orders and the first person wants a linda they want one okay so a linda is tomato sauce onions and mushrooms okay tomato sauce onions and mushrooms that's the temperature probe let me check that 385 do i need to pull more logs put a log Put another log. And then let me check one more time. 433. Okay, I think that should be good. So let me roll out this dough, like so. And then it's tomato sauce. Put the tomato sauce in there. Like that. How do I do the tomato sauce? So we do the dough. And then how do you put the marinara? I have to put it on the other thing to put marinara. That's cute. That's real freaking cute. Okay, no wonder. So let's put it right over here there you go tomato sauce onion and then what was the last one the last one was hold on there's so many freaking orders mushrooms what was that whoa mushrooms boom what the heck is that okay so i think we have to stop we have to put that how do you put it in there? Oh, there. There you go. Okay. Now we just have to wait a minute, right? So let's get the timer ready. And then while I'm waiting, that's the only order, actually. Nobody orders from this place. This place really is a pizza shit. I wasn't even trying to be funny. Oh, there you go. 
That looks good. Okay, so we put that in there, right? Put that away. Let's box this up. Drop the pizza in the kitchen counter. Drop the pizza in the kitchen counter. Okay, right here. And then I guess the person who's gonna get it is gonna take it and go? I'm so confused. I've never actually made a pizza before. I was just being stupid. Give the pizza to the delivery guy. Oh, okay. So I just take it and then I give it to you. All right. Bro didn't even have a full head. The heck, dude had like 20% head. He wasn't finished loading yet. All right, whatever. Coming. Hey, cuz. Good job on your first pizza of the night. So from now on, you will get orders on the computer. Just take them as they arrive and try to get them all done on time. All right. There Wait, is this place called Mamma Mia Pizzeria? You. In the last couple of weeks, some weird stuff started happening. Like kitchen equipment turning on by themselves. And we got a few leaks in the bathroom. If you ask me, I'm sure it's just some goofball who forgot to turn off water back there, but my dad wanted me to brief you on this. Simple stuff, really. Just check the kitchen and bathrooms for anything suspicious. Okay. Easy, right? Previous guy that worked the night shift, you know, Died? the crazy dude that jumped off, said there were some ghosts messing around in the pizzeria. Uh, we don't believe in ghosts, right, cuz? Right, cuz? We don't believe in ghosts, right, cuz? Yeah, bro. Fuck those ghosts. We don't believe in those stupid-ass ghosts. 396. Okay. Let's put one more of those. Oh, my God! I believe in ghosts. I believe in ghosts. I'm a believer now. Let's see the orders. Mamas. Okay, mamas and a pepperoni. So we got mamas pepperonis. Okay, mamas. So let's do that. Let's see how fast I can make this. Actually, how do I even make this thing? So let's do menu. We do mamas. Tomato sauce, mozzarella, onion. Okay, uh, tomato sauce, mozzarella, and onion. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's see if my ghost friend is good enough. Okay, my ghost friend is nice and spicy. So let's do this. And what the hell is that? Bro, those balls are as big as mine. Those are mozzarellas? Fuck no. Okay, so the next one is... Uh, damn, my memory sucks ass. Well, the next one is pepperoni. Okay, so a normal pepperoni is tomato sauce, mozzarella, and pepperoni. I could have told you that. Okay, so let's roll that out. Boom. And then another one of these. Please, mozzarella, pepperoni. Hold on. Oh, God! Hey. All right. I mean, you got to do what you got to do. That is the bathroom. That's none of my business. Or is it? What the heck? What am I supposed to do? I'm so confused. Um... Imagine she left me a fat stinker. What do I do? Okay, calm down. You know what? Maybe they're just having a tough time. Constipation is a real thing. I died? Poisoned by gas? I didn't even know that was me screaming like a little bitch. Get that? And that's good. Okay, that's perfect. So let's pack this up. And drop the pizza. Pizza? Oh my goodness. Pizza, pizza. Give the pizza to the delivery guy. You mean the hidden character that hasn't finished loading yet? Look at this dude. Dude doesn't even have a full head. So let's check the temperature. 459. All right. Damn, three pizzas? Okay. Hold on, baby girl. Wait. How do we turn on the kitchen thing? Oh. There you go. Turn that off. Turn that shit off. What the fuck? Turn it off. Turn that. No, turn that off. There you go. And I think we're good. Yeah? How good are we? Are we good or are we so good? So Linda, Mamas, and a Stagioni. Let's see what a Linda's looking like. She cute? Tomato sauce, onion, mushrooms. Tomato sauce, onion, mushrooms. Okay. So boom. Tomato sauce, onions, and mushrooms. We just made that, too, and I'm over here wondering how to make a Linda. Okay, put that in there. 
And then I can put two in one, I think. So let's do a mama's. A mama mia. Mamacita. Oh, shit. It's a mamacita and a mama mia. Okay, I need to hurry up. Tomato sauce, mozzarella, and onion. Tomato sauce, mozzarella, and onion. Okay. Tomato sauce, mozzarella, onion. What is that screaming? Can't open that. What about here? Anything in here? Let me flush that stank shit. Um, can't open that. Can't do anything about that. This game is ridiculously hard. Okay, let me check the temperature. 439, that's perfect. Just like you. And let's do that. Okay. And then let's pack it up. Wait for the pizza delivery guy, right? So put that there. And then I guess we wait for those balls. There you go. Those balls got flattened. Ooh, that looks good. That looks good. That's my Picasso of pizza right there. That should look yummy. So now we do one more, right? The stagioni. Okay. I don't know how to make a stagioni. Stagioni is tomato sauce, mozzarella, pepperoni, mushroom, ham. Fuck, anything else? Tomato sauce, ham, pepperoni, mozzarella, mushroom. Was that it? Pepperoni, mushroom, ham. Okay. So let's turn that off. Get that going. Put that in there. And then let me make sure the temperature is nice and crispy. 428. That's okay. That's not bad. I'm coming, buddy. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Give me one second. There you go, sir. All the ovens are off. Everything's looking spick and span, as they say. I don't know who says that, but somebody says that. Somebody's mom says that. So the good thing about those big mozzarella balls is that you know they're done when they're flattened. Okay, get that. Come on. What the heck? Get it. Put that there. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful pizza, if I do say so myself. So now we just wait for the pizza guy. And hold on. Let me answer that. Hello, Mamma Mia's Pizzeria. Hello. Hello. Let me guess. You're the new guy. The guy they picked to deal with their sick, treached family. Well, yeah. Only and what are you going to do about right. it? Let me tell you a story. Your story. See, I called you tonight because I'd assumed they would be steadfast to replace me. Nothing more important to the Falcos than money, isn't it? I used to... Well, I used to make the pizzas during the night shift. They probably told you I was insane or other stupid lies about what made me do what I did. The truth is elsewhere. There are things happening in this restaurant, and I can help you survive. Bad. Well, you could just run away and Sorry, never that's how back. much I don't care. But if you're even slightly like me, you came here for a reason. A purpose. You have something you need to do, isn't it? While you pursue whatever fantasy of yours, I can help you survive a few nights. Oh, burn pizza zero, failed, incomplete nine? There's no way I failed or incompleted nine. There's no way. Your mom failed my nine. Wait, what? Next game today's episode is called Frosty the Snow White Man. And it said, my family should have arrived hours ago for a Christmas dinner. I should go over and see what's taking them so long. Is that the Frosty the Snow White Man? That evil ass thing? All right, let me see my family. Or maybe I'll never see them again. The Legend of Frosty. Am I really going to read this? You know what? Fuck it, I will. The Legend of Frosty. In the small, secluded town of Frostvale, nestled deep within the snowy mountains, a chilling legend haunts the residents every Christmas Eve. This tale speaks of a malevolent snowman known as Frosty, said to come to life when the clock strikes midnight. Born from a cursed snowfall long ago, Frostbane is said to roam the silent streets, seeking unsuspecting victims. With coal for eyes and a twisted carrot for a nose, this spectral snowman is rumored to freeze the hearts of those unfortunate enough to cross its path. Locals recount stories of mysterious disappearances and icy encounters, warning one another to stay indoors on the fateful night. Whether a cautionary tale or a sinister reality, the legend of Frostbane casts a shadow over the once festive holiday, turning Christmas Eve into a night of fear and dread for the residents of Frostvale. Thank you. Thank you. I accept my Academy Award, everybody. But my family should have arrived hours ago. Okay, you said that the first time. Uh, is this you? Is this you, big dog? No, you don't have a twisted nose. You just have a long-ass Pinocchio nose. Where's my family? Family? Hey, yo, family! Bro, how am I supposed to know where my family is? I don't even know where I am. I don't even know what I'm meant to do in this life. It's you! You're the guy! Okay, that's the guy that they tell us to worry about. That's the person that's like a cautionary tale or something like that. Alright, I think he's looking at me. Oh, shoot. 
Oh, shiver me timbers. Okay. Um, I'm scared. Actually, I don't even know if I'm scared. I'm something right now. I'm something serious. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Who could have done this? I need to find the others. <laughs> I mean, it's not funny that they're dead. It's just kind of random. Bro, I can never understand how somebody's scared of a snowman. Honestly. Like, they can barely move. Just knock off one layer of their rolls and they're gone. They're done. They're capiche. Just like that Pizzeria Mamma Mia game. They're capiche. They're kaput. There's another dead body right here. I can't be the only one left. But you are, though. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Because you're a little bitch. You were raised as a little bitch. So that's what you're going to be. You know what I mean, everybody? Look, you are the only one left. This can't be happening. <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. I need to take this more seriously. Let me take it more seriously. Let's see. Let's see what we got going on. Oh, there's another body. Or is this the body I've seen? Yep, that's the body that I've seen. I'm assuming this is the last body. Right? What? Oh, shit. Is that him? Oh, God. What's coming for me? Whoa, shit. It's him. It's him. It's him. That was the most delayed death ever. But, you know, what can I expect? A snowman killed me. Bro, you died like a bitch. Last game on today's episode is called Santa's Present. I don't know if I ever believed in Santa Claus as a kid. I think my mom told me from like the get-go that Santa wasn't even real. I don't even think that Santa was even a discussion in our household. My mom let it be known that she was out there buying all the gifts. But what do I even do? Prepare a gift to Santa. Place the cookies on a plate under the Christmas tree. Hang a star on the Christmas tree. The star lies in the box. Okay. So let's put some cookies on a plate. Or put it there because I guess Santa's a dog and he could just get on all fours doggy style and just eat the cookies like that, I guess. And then let's... The star's not there. Oh, wait. No, the star isn't there. I think Santa left me a gift on my doorstep. <gasps> he left me the golden star. Thank you, Santa. I love you. I've always loved your big ass. Wait, Santa has the smallest feet ever. And he just came into the bathroom? No. No way. Wait, how come the footsteps just go away? He comes in, and then it just disappears. What is that? Did he leave me a gift? Bro left me the wrong kind of present. What is that? Is that an ornament? Whoa! What is that? Bro left me bombs. And not the brown ones. Santa Claus? Santa? Whoa! Oh, that's hot. Dude, I knew he was gonna get those cookies doggy style. Look at that. On all fours. Barking. His dogs are barking right now. He's woofing. Damn, Santa. Chill, bro. All right. All right, everybody, but that's going to do it for this episode of Free Random Games. Hopefully, you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.